I wondered uh, what this season felt like you felt like to you versus what your expectations were for this season. I, I think everybody kind of knew this was going to be a season of growth and questions, questions answered, uh, maybe taking some lumps. I don't know how what you expected, but how did how did it compare to your yeah. expectations? Yeah, yeah, I think you're. You're right. I mean, there's there's changes every off season. Things are going to happen. Um, you know, we had some big changes last off season. Um, you know, with with coaching and personnel and players and, and guys coming in. And um, you know, I think we gelled as a group pretty quickly. And um, you know, throughout the season, we we had our ups and downs. And I think that's going to happen during a season. But uh, we had a lot of uh, experiences where I thought we grew um, as a group. Um, some very positive things. Um, you know, we had some lulls, but uh, we've dug ourselves out, and I think um, you know it's exciting for us, for myself, and and the rest of the group of um, you know where we're trying to get to. Um, you know, we took some big steps, and um, it's exciting for us moving forward. Yeah, um, I don't think we've talked to you at any length since you're, you're, you stepped out of the line with, the, with your back. How tough was that decision? Uh, where are you at now? What's the long-term prognosis? Yeah, no, it's, it was tough. Obviously, I um, you know, wanted to keep playing and um, you know, it was feeling good, but uh, obviously just couldn't do it um, you know, the way I wanted to and um, you know, had to you know, try to get healthy. And uh, for right now, I feel great. I mean, I'm, I'm a, you know, going, going into the summer, um, go back to my summer training and skating um, pretty quickly here. So, um, yeah, I, I'm you know, lucky and I'm um, happy to be um, feeling good again. Yeah. Will you do anything different this summer, or what, how do you handle the back? Is there a way to, I think in years past, you talked about strengthening the, the core area. You can't imagine much more of that can be done. How can you? How yeah, can there's you there's different things. I don't know. I want to get too, too into it, but there's uh, different things and um, you know, with your training um, that you can alter and, and change and um, you know, try to get yourself feeling the best you possibly can, and um, you know we'll do that with my trainer and um, lots of work uh, in the gym and uh, on the ice. So um, looking forward to that, and, and like I said, just uh, you know feeling good coming into next year. And the last one for me: Can you say specifically what it is, and has surgery been ruled out? Uh, yeah, it's uh, no surgery. So um, you know, it's just it's it's the back, and um, you know there's. A lot of things that go on with that, so yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be feeling good again and uh, looking to get back after it now. Obviously, your first year as the captain this year, how did you feel like you grew in that role as the season along? Yeah, it's, uh, it was um, you know exciting times. Obviously, a huge honor to to have that uh, letter this year, and um, you know just try to do it with pride and, and you know stay true to who I'm who I am as a person and as a player. So. Um, you know, it was exciting for me, and um, you know, I wanted that that challenge and, and opportunity. And um, you know, I think it's it's a learning experience. I want to you know just keep growing. I don't think you can ever be um, happy. I think I just want to keep growing in that in that role. Um, you know, it's a little bit different, but like I said, I just try to be myself and um, help the guys and be that example for us. So um, I just want to keep going there. Just look back from a production standpoint, you had a really good year, one of the best, most productive years you had in a while on the offensive side of the puck. Uh, did you feel like anything in particular was working for you, and just how satisfying was that to, um, you know, big shoes to fill as a captain? Then you're, when you're producing, it probably makes that job a little bit easier as well. Yeah, it's um, you know obviously nice when you can you can chip in offensively, and um, you know I think I just try to play my game, put myself in spots, and, and you know I was playing with some good players, and uh, we just started clicking, and um, things were going in, and. Obviously, you just keep you know building off that. Um, you, know, you just try to put a lot of work in in the summers, trying to you know get your game better each and every year. So um, you know try to do that again, but try to do that. And you know coming into the season, I wanted to you know have high expectations for myself always. So uh, just try to play my game, and yeah, things were going in. So I want to just keep building off that. I think one of those guys you've played with a lot was, was uh, Patrick, and obviously there was a lot of question marks around him coming into the season. Just Last year being a struggle, but he obviously uh, he had a pretty good, pretty good season. Uh, a lot of things kind of worked for him. It seemed like he was enjoying himself as well. Just how important is it to kind of integrate him into the group and see the success he had this year? Yeah, no, he had a, a great year. I mean, right from you know day one of camp, he, he came in. He looked um, you know like he was ready to go, and uh, that carried on. Obviously, he went through a, a few things this year with with injuries and stuff, and um, you know he just you know was playing really good hockey for us and. 
scoring big goals, timely goals for us, and that's what he can do. So um, it was definitely fun playing with him. I think we, we built some chemistry there and, um, you know, had some good nights. So, um, you know, he's, he's, I know he's looking to get better too. So we're all just looking to grow, grow together here and, and keep going in the right direction. Yeah, I think a lot of, um, you know, the, your on ice stuff and, and um, you know, sticking with each other comes, you know, from that the camaraderie in the room and, and, and how much guys care about each other. And we, we definitely have that here. So we're lucky to be, you know, with this group. Guys care about each other. Guys want to play for each other. And, um, you know, I think coming into this season, you didn't know um, with a lot of new faces, but it didn't take long. Everyone started to gel. Everyone bought in. I think that was, you know, the important thing. And, uh, we just, you know, try to build off that. So um, very exciting time for our group. Um, you know, like Z said, it's, um, you know, it's we're lucky to have, you know, a group that uh, that cares about each other. And I know we just want to put the work in and keep growing and uh, doing what we have to do to, to push each other, you know, internally to, to, to be a better team. Can you speak to just Rick Nash's influence, you know, obviously the retirement that recently happened, but then working in the front office like that, being the director of player development and really being an advocate for the team. Just how important has his presence been in your room? Yeah, he's been, you know, awesome since joining us as staff. Um, you know, he's uh, brought a lot of different, you know, ideas and, and, and different things to us. So, um, you know, he, I think he's he's just growing in that role. Um, you know, a couple years in now, he. He understands it, and um, you know it's great for us. Um, obviously, ching. But yeah, so it's been awesome. Brad Larson too. Obviously, and him and the coaching staff, that matter, being in the first year in their respective roles. How you obviously have gone back with him a long time, and he knows what how things work there. How do you feel like he did? You know, kind of going through all the different ups and downs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, did a tremendous job for us, I think. Um, you know, I knew him, you know, for years and years now, but, um, you know, to have him as a head coach, you know, I, I was not surprised. You can always see it in, in Lars, and uh, I think he just excelled in that role. Um, him with the other coaching staff, um, you know, all kind of being their first years as well. And, um, you know, it kind of goes back to, you know, the, the idea of the, I think guys bought in right away. Uh, Guys are excited. Guys want to play for for each other. For and we're all in it together. Coaches, management. We we all want the same thing. So um, I think that's important. And uh, he did a great job for us. With the amount of guys that made their debut this season, what did you see your role being? Not just for the whole team, but especially for those young guys, a dozen guys in their debuts a lot. Yeah, yeah. We had a lot of a lot of debuts and um, young guys. So just want to be that um, you know guy that they can lean on. Uh, any questions? Um, you know whatever. It may be, um, be that guy for them that, you know, and, and set that example for them too. Um, you know, show them, you know, what to do away from the rink or uh, after the games, before the games, how to prepare, uh, how to practice, all that stuff. So uh, they did a great job. Like, like I said, they, we have a, the young guys that came in, they, they're, they're awesome guys and, and, you know, great kids, great players, but um, good teammates. So uh, very excited for them and, and uh, to have them. Yeah, definitely a lot more. Um, you know, last year was you, you get mixed up with all the years now, but um, you know, it's a different year for everybody. Uh, it was hard on a lot of people, and um, you know, just coming into this year having a normal training camp and 82 game schedule, and, and you know, he, he knew you know a lot of players from last year still, so. Um, Definitely, you know, we just grew and, um, you know, just the more you're around somebody, the more you hang out with them and, um, you know, play with, with one another, practice with one another, you're going to get, uh, you know, build those bonds. And um, so I thought it was great. Any other questions? Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.